Good morning, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and Dewey. Look, he's got an X39 patch on his forehead and he's got an AccuLife patch on his back. So let's see how that combination works for him. Okay, I bought yarn. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was listening to um, sock, crocheted socks tutorials yesterday and then my friend Nicole over at Addicted to Yarn, I'll link her down below. Um, I, I, okay, so send me that sock recipe, recipe pattern again, because her and I went shopping like a year or two ago, um, and she talked me into buying this sock yarn, and it was wonderful, and Nicole, I'm sorry, I have no idea where it is, in that pile in the closet. So, what did I do? <laughs> I broke my... I fell off the wagon is what I did. And wh where did I go? I went to the yarn net store. And you know how easy it is? I mean, I just put, um, so I went to e yarn and, um, well, that's not what I did. I went here and I selected um, ice yarn search. I didn't choose a color right away. Let's see if you guys can see this. Um, and I chose fingering and I hit search and clear over on the third page. I mean, this is how easy it is, right? I chose this. Here it is. I even chose that color right there. Details, Lorena, super fine yarn, ice yarns. And I bought four of those. <laughs> so much for my yarn band, right? <laughs> and look at all those colors. I mean, I was trying to, you know, I was thinking afterwards, should I have, should I have gotten a white, you know, to, um, and then put like the heel and the toe and the band in, in this color, but no. I decided I wanted to stay with this color for the whole sock. I am actually thinking about designing a sock. Um, I want to practice with the um, the pattern that Nicole sent me. Nicole, tell me, <laughs> tell me who whose pattern that is. It looks like it came off of um, Yarnspirations. The way it's you know we get used to how people lay out their patterns. Looks like it came from Yarnspirations, and I searched Yarnspirations, and I couldn't find the exact pattern. But I did find, um, so I'm going to work on that one. And then I found Mikey from the Crochet Crowd, also Yarnspirations pattern for a sock. That one was toe up, and I kind of like the way the toe was made. But then Marley Bird had the family sock, came from the top down, and that reminds me of how the brim, you know, the the cuff is done um it's hers is done from the top down and the way they start she starts the cuff and then joins it and then works down the leg reminds me of how the bun and done beanie is done on that brim I, that's my favorite brim and i'm thinking about designing a sock after you know i've done some socks because i've never done a sock before right so I'm thinking about designing a sock that actually has the cuffed ribbing that goes lengthwise down the leg to the ankle to where the, um, cause I like socks to have a little bit of ribbing, well the ribbing all the way down, not just up at the cuff. So yeah, let me get good at making socks first before I start jumping into the deep end, right? <laughs> But that is how easy it is to break your yarn buying ban by going to the Yarn Nut Yarn Store. It is so easy. So yarn, let's see what else. She can get a whole bunch of different kinds of yarns, especially from, from overseas. Let's go back to home. And let's see, select Hobium Yarn Search. Let's do that, Hobium. And go to, let's go to a one. And let's do a, let's do a superwash merino. 
That's a nice sock yarn, right? If if you're into um, oh nothing. Okay, so let's go back. I want to go back to Hobium and see Hobium yarn search, and I'm going to do a one thickness. Ooh, ooh, look at this. And you know, if there's any yarn that you uh, ooh, I like that color. Oh, I like that tango. <laughs> <laughs> so and all you have to do is contact Gia at the yarn nut um, and it's yarnnut.com uh, you know if there's like that sheep piece whirl that I'm using and um, that other fine yarn that I'm using I had to get this yarn from the house yesterday since my load wasn't ready I ended up spending the night Okay, so the sheepies and this, this yarn, you know, see that you can't get it, this Honolulu, look at how pretty that is. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to grab that yarn, make socks out of it. But I think the way these color changes are so gradual, I'm going to stick with a shawl for the church ladies on that. But uh, yeah, you know, if you have yarn like that from Hobium or, you know, any of those places overseas, contact Gia and um, see if it's something you know she could get for you so yeah I I blew it look at me I'm glistening <laughs> I was cold when I got up now I'm warm but I'm kind of on a sock thing but I have all these projects to finish so I yeah I'm not doing good on my scorched earth challenge some of you are doing so well and I'm sorry I haven't got everybody in the playlist yet hope maybe I'll get that done tonight I only have so much time before and after I drive every day and a lot of times after I drive I am just wiped out look at this CP head CP head hi CP head <laughs> he's like you're talking about me again mom now you owe me now you owe me. Okay. <laughs> I gotta pay the dog. There you go. Alright, so check out Gia the Yarn Nut. And you know what's cool? Is I found a link on her um, website underneath um, when I looked up my previous order. There was a link in there to her fairy video from last year's Christmas in July fairies. And I had to go watch it. That was so great. She had a ton of of comments under that video <clears throat> I I just love seeing that so way to go Gia you've got a great store going on and uh, it's way too easy to buy yarn especially ice yarns from your store which is is wonderful I love that turquoise color that I bought I can hardly wait to get that okay you guys go check her out I love you guys bye